It's Bertie LaVorne. This is the Faith Leap Podcast, and it is March 5th. So today I'm going to start my series on um, going tiny or a minimalist, however you want to think about it. It's been a very odd subject to try to encapsulate into words it's been um it it makes you emotional when you start thinking about it and it kind of just disrupts the soul just a little because it's um it's so foreign and it feels so weird sometimes i would say most of the time if you just sit into it it feels really great but if you put too much thought behind it, then you really start getting a little stir crazy. Um, but first, I'm going to do a country living story because I have a really good one. Uh, we've had these gale force winds. I think they came through at 60 miles an hour and we lost power for a day and it was just crazy weather. But it's been, although windy, it's been pretty outside. It's chilly. But the sun is out, and so we decided to get the, my daughter has 19 hens and a rooster um, that she tends to, and so we thought about bringing them into the backyard and letting them, you know, like scratch around, and the last two days we've been letting them do that, and the most amazing things happen just watching them, but something that was really forceful was uh, a vulture large bird flew over the yard and the rooster made this noise that I'd never heard before but it was like a magnet and all of the hens went to him and they hid up against uh, a fence and some arborvitas and they stayed there until he kind of gave the signal of all clear it was fascinating to watch these little chickens are so incredibly smart. Um, it, but, you know, wow. <laughs> That's my country living story for today, for this week, maybe for this month. But I want to deep dive into the re real reason why I even started doing podcast. Um, and that was because someone told me that I had to journal this experience because there would be other people who would want to do it and really wouldn't know where to start or you know just a little scared of it which um that's that's a good healthy feeling to have because the very first thing you have to do before you start giving all of your wealth you know wealth and possessions and <coughs> all of your material possessions away is you have to kind of start making your mind flexible. When you go into a tiny environment, which I'm very blessed. I have a house that's right next to me that has utilities and facilities. But um, when you do make this leap to kind of not go with the mainstream um, the full time job the grind is not something that's making you happy anymore and you're spending more time in traffic than you are just enjoying your life then you start romancing this idea playing around with it but it's not for the faint of heart. And I I went into it knowing that there would be challenges. Emotional challenges. And physical challenges. And spiritual challenges. Certainly financial challenges. But I didn't know to the extent. So... I'm going to try to start creating this blog as a diary, not a not a diary per se, but um, a 
outline of some of the things that maybe blindsided me. Hopefully they don't blindside you if you're going to do this, but this is something that I had to deal with. So you'll have an idea of one person's account. But the, the making the mind flexible in the very beginning, before you start giving things away, selling things, um, putting your house on the market, that is the mind flexibility is absolutely the most important thing. If I had kept the values and the mindset that I had prior to diving into this, it I don't think I would even be able to see happiness in the small things. Because you no longer are allowed to, it's not that you're not allowed, but you're so financially restricted all of those things that you used to do, you don't have the money to do them anymore. You know, you don't go to a mall <laughs> and you barely, if ever, go to a movie and to eat out is, you know, that's a luxury. Um, so all of the things that you used to spend your time doing, you do not do them anymore. So you have to be okay with sitting with time on your hands and start dabbling into the things that really make your soul sing. I started painting. I'm teaching myself how to watercolor. Um, and, you know, homestead in a certain sense, you know, we're going to do this really fantastic garden that's going to feed us this year. And we've got these chickens that we're learning so much about. But there's time, there's time to just breathe. There's time to just breathe and to look at the sunset and just not dread it because you know that the sun's going to set, you're going to have to go to bed and you're going to have to wake up the next day and it's all going to start over again. I don't think I could have continued living my life that way. <clears throat> it was just, it was just just not something that made me feel good so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> anyway that sounds disgusting but you know we play with these colds up here um mind flexibility i'm not quite sure how you make your mind flexible but don't go into it thinking that it's just going to be easy because it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard you're going to have to kind of disengage everything that you knew in that very materialistic life and re-engage in a very different small life so yeah it's hard to talk about because it stirs up some emotions that you just, um, you don't like to play with them because everything's at a heightened sense when you're doing this transition. Everything's heightened. Your emotional state is heightened. Your perception is different. Everything's totally different. And I may be making way too much of this, but I know the feelings that I got watching all of my belongings walk out in someone's hands out my front door and the Goodwill trucks backing up into the driveway and the day that I drove away in my trailer selling my beloved home. Um, that just is super, super heavy. So... And it was exciting. It was exciting and it was heavy and it was sad and it was great and it was liberating and it was devastating. And, you know, it's these two polar opposites that you've got going on here and you've got to learn how to just sit in the middle and let it all go. You just have to let it all go because it's, 
it's not something that you can uh, put into words. You just can't put those feelings into words. I think it's interesting how people say, oh my gosh, I don't, I, you know, I can't believe you did it. You're actually doing it. And I'm doing it like 85% of the way. I still have a 15% umbrella, (laughs) but yeah, I'm doing it and I'm writing out sometimes like feels like a roller coaster. I'm writing out these emotions and these feelings But number one, go in tiny. Flex your mind muscle. Get it to where you can understand hot and cold at the same time. Understand yes and no, black and white, on and off. Because you're going to have to sit in the middle of that. And that's my podcast for today. Whoopee. All right. Everybody have a really wonderful week. I wish you peace, and I'll talk to you soon.